Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on how to replace the coils in these dual coil Kangers, uh, the new style with the metal sleeve. So I just wanted to put together a series of steps for you, um, at least what works for me. So I'm able to get a lot of use out of these pieces of these coils as long as they're assembled and done correctly. So um, it's a good cost effective way to not have to buy the five packs all the time. So obviously you just pop the chimney off. It helps to have two good pairs of pliers. Um, I happen to have this funky like LL Bean hammer thing that I was given for Christmas. So it works pretty good, um, especially with getting a grip and putting the chimney back on, which can be a pain. Um, so the second step is just to remove that um, sleeve, third step rather. So once you pull that sleeve off, um, it will be easier in the future to get it off. It's kind of a pain the first time, <clears throat> just because it's um, it's pretty tightly snug on there. Uh, the next step, you're going to want to take uh, the base off and the grommet, which is pretty easy. Uh, you just pull those guys out and don't lose that grommet. Um, it tends to roll away sometimes. Um, so after that, you're going to remove whatever old coil and wick uh, you have in there and just set it aside. <clears throat> so I was able to find these uh, pre-coiled pre wicks and um, off of fasttech.com. It's like a couple bucks for like 50 of them or something, which is really nice. So you can choose the ohm of the coil and uh, they're really good quality. So it just takes a little bit of time for them to reach you. So I picked up a bag of these um, I love them. It saves me a ton of time. Um, they're 1.5 ohms, um, so I'm only doing a single coil when I replace. Uh, if you want to do a dual coil, I'd, I'd try and find some 3 ohm coils because uh, when you do dual coil, it cuts the, uh, the ohm in half, basically. Um, so what I also do is, in the past, I'll trim these and I'll save the pieces. And I just kind of pad the bottom with some um, with some of these uh, flavor wicks, I guess. And it helps to A, fill the coil so you don't have flooding. And B, it kind of helps seat the coil nicely in the middle um, when, you're, when you're putting it in. So I just set it down on the bottom like that. <clears throat> and um, obviously they get trimmed later. So... With these in particular, um, if you're making your own, just make sure you have really long um, ends on those wires. And then you're gonna wanna try and kinda carefully feed it through um, on each side of the flavor wicks that you've made and just kind of pull it down until it seats uh, somewhere in the middle of your coil. So carefully kinda get your wires pulled out just a little bit so that they're not gonna uh, push back through and your coil will fall out. Um, so then after that, <clears throat> you're going to want to get ready to put back in the base and the seal. Um, you're going to want to feed one of the wires through the middle of the grommet and keep the other on the outside so it makes connection with the outside of the metal housing and then the other one makes connection with the uh, base. And that takes a little uh, getting used to but once you get it down you, it's pretty easy. Um, so after that, you're going to want to take like toenail clippers or something and clip uh, off as much as you can of the wires because it will short the battery if they're, if they're sticking out in any way. Um, after that, you just clip your uh, wicks pretty much down to the metal of that. Um, I set aside the wicks to use later for um, flavor wicks for my other builds. Um, yeah, so you just clip it away. Um, you don't want too much hanging out off the side because it'll make the sleeve difficult to put back on. <clears throat> so after you clip those off, you just kind of carefully line up the, uh, the sleeve as it was previously. Make sure the holes are up against the wicks. And, um, you know, you just replace the sleeve. You want to um, make sure that it's all the way down to the bottom of the uh, base, otherwise your cap won't go back on. <clears throat> so after you've got your sleeve on, you take your head and you put it back on, tap the chimney, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, remember to let them soak for a while to get the uh, juices flowing. So 
Hope you uh, found this helpful. Take it easy.